We're gonna kick things off tonight with the world title match. On Raw, we saw See No Evil Part 3, a sequel to the critically acclaimed horror movie starring Zack Ryder and Eve Torres. This time around, it was Daniel Bryan and his bride, Brie Bella. Kane rose from the hell that exists under WWE's ring to drag Brie down under, but the crisis was averted as Bryan ran to the rescue and physicality ensued. The fate of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and the champion himself will be on the line when Danny Ryan takes on Kane in an Extreme Rules match. The buildup for this was pretty rushed. I think the Brie Bella thing was almost like the buildup equivalent to a cheap pop. It was like, throw something out there that'll manufacture some quick heat and will build to the title match, which is completely a transitional title match for Daniel Bryan. The Extreme Rules concept is strictly because of the Extreme Rules pay-per-view name, so this really doesn't have a lot of substance to it. The match should be quick. It shouldn't main event, even though it is the title. I think Daniel Bryan will win, and hopefully we have something better in store, maybe a Sheamus heel turn, and we can do that match combination again or something like that. You know, I, initially I was very excited for this match. Probably the only person in the world that was excited for it. But hey, as long as I'm excited, that's all that matters for me. And then we had the buildup. I can understand there are some things that happened in Daniel Bryan's personal life, so I'm not going to bash the buildup too much. But still, from what I see on TV, this past week on Raw was an absolute disaster. Brie Bella, or whichever Bella she is, that was terrible. Like, she rolled out of the ring, got back into the ring, let herself be dragged by Kane, and then got back in and do the same. It was just a complete mess. And it honestly ruined what happened the week before, which was honestly a really good segment. I haven't seen that much brutality in quite a while. They seem to love having Daniel Bryan get the crap beat out of him. But anyway, I think that this match just needs to go in, just get in, get it done, about a 10, 12-minute brawl, and just end it. It shouldn't main event after what happened this past week. I'm very disappointed. It didn't touch upon uh, Team Hell No, you know, maybe having a former friend being completely twisted by Stephanie McMahon didn't expand upon any of that, and I'm hoping that this feud doesn't go past Extreme Rules. Hopefully, though, this end it right here. It really doesn't need to go on any further. Uh, it really sucks how Kane, a very talented big man, can be involved in such terrible storylines just constantly, time and time again. I haven't seen this much brutality since Triple H had more brutality in one of his beatdowns on Daniel Bryan, like <laughs> all of them up and a half ago. Yeah, I don't really care about this match at all. I mean, the promo or whatever the hell, whatever the hell you want to call it, like why the hell did Brie keep going back to the ring? I don't get it. Uh, and Kane taking her down to the ring, like was she still like a Judas? Is he still like a Judas Macias thing or something? Like Judas Macias did that in TNA, if you didn't know. Anyway, I don't care about this match. I, I see it going past Extreme Rules, which kind of sucks. But I kind of just don't think Danny Bryan's going to get the clean win here. I think something's going to happen, which is going to set up another match, which kind of sucks. But let's just hope they put it on a decent match, and we'll see what we go from there. Oh, Danny Bryan should win, by the way. <laughs> So WWE aired a video package promoting Extreme Rules with this feud that summarized the story of it and charted out Danny Bryan's journey from WrestleMania to where he is now. The perfect wedding, a gorgeous bride, but for Daniel Bryan, the honeymoon is over. A demon unleashed that no one can control. Has a yes movement finally met its demise to a demon reborn. That shit sounds... Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and say that. The only thing that would have made it more awesome is if I didn't know any better about the fact that it only featured one fucking week's worth of material. One episode of Raw. One segment. But I do have to acknowledge the fact that I did really enjoy last week's segment. As for the follow-up, eh, not so much. Last week is the cane I'd like to see. Cut these stupid little low-budget horror movie type stunts and amp up the aggression. I don't know if it's just the fact that Kane and that character is so dated that his antics fall flat or if it's simply that this was just dumb. All around, it was just campy and just horribly executed. Now, with that being said, Kane did end up choke slamming Danny Bryan and getting the better of him once again. And David... You said that WWE loves to make Daniel Bryan get his ass whipped or whatever. I think the reason why they love doing that is because they have great results every time they follow it up. This is nothing more than a deck being stacked against him. And we've seen Daniel Bryan succeed before in storylines where the theme is that he's the underdog. And this places him in front of these insurmountable odds. But... He'll eventually overcome it, and that's exactly what I expect him to do at Extreme Rules. So I'm going for Danny Bryan with the win here. Come on! <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Hmm. Can I just make a slight little detour here? I talked about how this was campy and poorly executed. Miss Brie Bella, I have one question for you. If someone is in the ring trying to pull you to the fucking underworld, why, after you just got out of the ring to safety, would you then slide back into the ring just to roll around on the fucking mat? At that point, whatever the hell Kane had planned for her, fuck, she deserved that shit. I don't know what it was, but whatever the fuck it was, she deserved it. She should have got every single bit of it. That's like those crazy ass chicks in those horror movies where you know you're at home by yourself you hear some shit in the next room and then you go to investigate what the fuck do you think you're gonna do there <laughs> yeah you're not you, Brie Bella, you're not gonna beat up kane i don't know what you i don't know <laughs> yeah. what your intentions were i don't know she's been working on, she's been working on those drop kicks though i mean <laughs> man good. calls it out on twitter when he said uh like there's no need to keep up appearances for us like shit you've already proven yourself not to be ride or die like shit you you, <laughs> you you don't need to keep up appearances for us like we we got the message but yeah if i was ever in a situation like that in a horror movie i'd be like fuck that shit i'm running outside and my ass is gonna be sitting on the curb and i won't be calling the cops i'll be calling my landlord to tell them they got a new tenant like shit you can have <laughs> everything in there i don't want it <laughs> take it all see there's a reason i don't watch horror, horror movies one because they're scary and two, because the writing is just so terrible. I just can't. I'm too smart for horror movies. I'm, I'm too much of the, what a dumb bitch. Like, not even like, oh, my God, like, fucking idiot. Like, you deserve that. I, I'm glad you got your head cut off. But yeah, do, does anyone else see this moving past Extreme Rules, this feud with Kane? Yeah, it'll I get. Also got, uh, although, um, will, though. I feel like them going to Chicago, they might try to figure something out. Not, not what you think, but I feel like they're going to try to put on a better show than Daniel Bryan versus versus. Uh, Wait a minute. Kane. It has to be what I think, because I, I, I can't think about Chicago without a certain someone coming to mind. Like, it's absolutely CM impossible. Punk is not going... Michael Jordan? <laughs> yeah, Michael Jordan. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he should totally have a match with Daniel Bryan. That'd be cool. I'm actually flying out to Payback to go to Payback to see CM Punk come back. So if WWE doesn't bring him back, I'm going to be very upset, even though he wasn't advertised. <laughs> <laughs> we got a tweet from Marquis9311 here saying, Brian retains and Kane moves on to see no evil part four. Um, no, please no. Like, let's just end this Kane shit. This is supposedly the reality era. Mm -mm. Shit, if... if if it's too good for The Undertaker to be here, like, Kane, you, you got to pack your bags, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> the second-rate Undertaker's got to go, too. Like, you, <laughs> you, you can't keep the second-rate Undertaker if Undertaker can't be around. 